friends. I am here today to show you a new journal that I made. It's a hard-covered uh, journal that's ring-bound. Um, I followed um, along with Wendy's journal adventures um, tutorial to make this. Um, and I just love how it came out, so I wanted to share it with you. Um, I put some sorry silk to uh, close it with just a little doorknob or a uh, hitch post. And all you do is just tuck that over and if you push it down, it comes off. So the closure is pretty simple. Um, I used a beautiful image from a book that I had for the cover and I put some lace and some ribbon and um, a little collaging. So let's go inside. So this journal, um, I used um, flashcard. Um, the kit that I used, I'll link below because I don't have it in front of me, but um, it's a new kit that I just love. Lots of botanicals. And I also used um, some homemade paper throughout just to pull the colors together. Um, on this side, it's a glassine bag. I did a little bit of collaging on this side. And there's a little journaling card that I made. It has a little dangle on it of a butterfly. Um, the images on, the, on many of the uh, journaling cards that I made are from Mrs. Cog's Happy England set. And I uh, love Mrs. Cog's images. So, um... I use those throughout. The back has a little bit of collaging also. This is a little CD case that I collaged on. I added a little lace and some uh, leaf ribbon. And again, there's another little dangle on the side here. This is also from Mrs. Cog's shop. I did some stamping and some layering. Just a regular journaling card that we fancied up a bit. And that goes in there. Um, on the back, there's a little fairy, um, playing card, and I put a journaling card from the kit that I used, and some more of that beautiful handmade paper. So this is the first of three journals in this, um, book, and it has a little, um, clip at the top to hold it closed and it's just filled with some tea dyed paper did a little stenciling on some of them has some grid paper in there so it's just some various pages in there for the journal and again that closes up with a clip and the nice thing about the ring bound journal um if you don't want to journal with this in the book you could always open up the clips and take this out to do your journaling and then just put it back in. On the back, again, did some collaging. I uh, used a tag for a little tuck spot with some journaling cards. On this side, there's a um, little dragonfly tag. And I put a little um, dragonfly charm at the top. Just stitched that on another little journaling card here a little piece of lace and some lace on the edge um, on the back I put a little bit of um, lace I love the lace that cascades across the bottom and when the journals closed I'll show you you could see it all here's another one of those fairy journal cards with a little tuck spot and there's a journaling card here and a little postcard so I usually use um, nature-themed journals, if you um, have seen my journals before. It's my favorite. Um, this is also uh, one of those little seed packets from uh, that we all like to play with. And um, I used that. And the journaling card, again, is from Mrs. Cog's Happy England. Did some collaging. And you could just do some journaling on that. And you could see the little girl right through the um, opening in the, the little envelope. 
So on this side, I just made a homemade tag and used it as a tuck spot. And there's two little journaling cards down there. On this side, this is a paper bag that is folded in half. Now, everything that's in the journal is um, has eyelets to secure it in place so they won't rip when you're turning the pages. And they're hinged on. Um, this one I did collaging on. There's lace across the bottom. And inside the pocket, there's another little tag that I made um, with an image from Mrs. Cog. Did some collaging on that. And that's just a little paper doily that I had and some lace as a little tab. Um, so inside this paper bag, there's a little tuck spot here. And on this side, there's a little um, tuck spot. And I put a little tiny book page journal that I made with various little papers and cutoffs. Um, you could stick it in your purse for grocery lists or whatever. And that just tucks away in this little pocket. And then there's another pocket on the other side of the folded bag with, again, one of Mrs. Cog's images and lots of layering um, in there. So that tucks away inside this side of the bag. And then on the back, I have um, another little tuck spot with some journaling cards. That's also from the kit that I'll list below. And this is your second journal. There are three journals in this and they're all the same. Some tea dyed paper, some grid paper, various sizes. And um, it just closes up with another pen. Did a little collaging at the bottom and on the back tuck spot with two more journaling cards. And I use Tracy's labels throughout. Um, now on this side, this is like um, a paper doily um, tuck spot. And I have this beautiful paper with these birds on it. It's just some lined paper. Um, And then there's this big journaling card that I had. Let me turn that. This is another little tuck spot. And I also have some of that paper again. And there's the beautiful lace across the bottom. Um, I used a different lace on this one. This is a short envelope with some tuck spots. Um, and when you turn it, on the inside, there's another journaling card with a little dangle. Um, and this is um, from a kit that I have from Nikki Ogden. And it's so sweet. It has these three little um, cards inside. I just love them. So that's a sweet little um, addition. Another little flash card with tuck spot. Another image from Mrs. Coggs. And this is just some watercolor paper that I had painted on and did some distressing on. Just to give that a little um, interest. Tuck that in there. And this is on an envelope. So on the inside of the envelope is a tuck spot. Another image from Mrs. Coggs. It's just on a piece of um, scrap paper. And on the front, there's like a little glassine envelope with a little card in it and two more little tags. On this side, there is uh, an embossed tag as a tuck spot. And again, with some little journaling cards in there. And this is actually the last of the journals. I won't open this one up. It's the same as the other two. <clears throat> and on the back, again, this is from that kit. And I will link below the kit because I really love it. I think it's just the colors on it. The greens are so beautiful. 
And this is the back cover. So on the back cover, I used a book page and I made an envelope. And there's just some little tags popped in the back. Um, you know, I did some collaging on that. And then there's a journaling card in the back. There's an old vintage postcard that I put back there. And um, just another plain little journaling card um, on the back. So I hope you love it. Again, this closes with the sari silk. Um, on the back, I just put a little stamp that came with one of my kits. And when you close it up, this just holds on the little hitch post. I think it came out so sweet, and I hope you love it. And I'm going to put it up in my Etsy shop. Hope you have a great day. Bye for now.